Uh, well, I came back um, last year in about November. I've been here for 10 weeks now, which was very nice for for a change. And um, I've been in Gold Coast mainly, um, training and trying to get ready, enjoying some home time, Christmas, beach, you know, the things we don't get to do very often. And um, then I went to Perth on 28th, played the Hopman Cup. I got a lot of good matches there. And, and uh, after that, I went to Hobart, visit the beautiful Tasmania again. And unfortunately, the weather wasn't very good, but um, again, good matches. And um, after that, I came yesterday here. How was Christmas? What did you do? Uh, Christmas was great, got a day off, so it was even better. I got to sleep till about lunchtime and um, had the usual Christmas lunch, watched some TV. I had to pack, unfortunately, as well, so that wasn't much fun, but overall, it was a very nice Christmas. I normally see you in Paris where, I've got to be honest with you, you look more relaxed in Paris than you, you are here. Thank you. Um, so do, can you just talk about what it's like to be in Australia and deal with the home crowd expectation? Yeah, I mean, you always want to play well in front of your home crowd. I mean, they come to watch you, they support you. And, and knowing my history is not always easy to come here. Even I really try always very hard every year to win. But, you know, you just want to do your best. Everybody comes and watch and loves you and, and follows you. And, and they're the best crowd we have in the world. And they deserve to watch some good tennis so you always try to do your best and um, so it's a bit nerve-wracking sometimes but also very exciting to step on the court in front of them. And <clears throat> that history is in the back of your mind so when you're on the court is that hard to get out of your mind? Um, I mean it does sneak in once in a while but you try to forget it and you try to concentrate on the given day. I mean in, in the end the Grand Slam is like every other Grand Slam and you try to do your best no matter where you're playing and what you're playing. So. Um, I will try not to think about it and hopefully I can win this one. And uh, first up, Maria Kirilenko, uh, can you talk about how you approach that game and what you're expecting? Um, it's going to be a tough match, definitely. Last time we played, we played a tough three-setter where I was match points down, but I ended up winning it. 7-6 um, in a third, so all our matches are very, very little. We play tough matches. Um, we know each other since we're about 12 years old, so it's going to be a tough match and I'm very much looking forward to it and if I, I will do what I can to win.